Oh, this is good stuff, Yoshi. It feels so... Oh, hey, stop burping. <laughs> hey, I didn't know the camera was on. Sorry, I just feel like home right now. It's so comfortable when you're home. It's like being better. It's better than, you know, being in Vegas in a hotel. I don't want to be treated like royalty. I want to feel home. Oh, and that's what our video is about today. Hey, so glad you can join me here comfortably sitting at home and that's what the video is about today sun in the fifth house and sun feels comfortable in the fifth house why because fifth house is his natural house which is the fifth sign leo and again what is the representation of the fifth house fifth house represents creativity fifth house represents education the academic that academic education fifth house represents creation meaning creation of the children. Fifth house represents speculative business, like stockbroking, like any kind of business where you're betting on something, okay? Fifth house represents cinema, being on stage, performing, okay? It's about artistic talent. It's about discussing artistic things in life. It's also the house of your previous deeds. It's also the house of learning cultural education meaning learning ancient text that's what fifth house also represents and so sun you know signifies all these things because sun is pretty much the controller of life so most of the things you know comes into this fifth house and sun represents government sun represents your father sun represents your fatherly figure sun represents your ego your soul where you really want to be in life that's what Sun represents so when Sun comes in the fifth house it magnifies and it illuminates everything every one of those things okay you love discussing politics you love this you're you want to talk about creativity you want to talk about philosophy you want to talk about ancient text you want to be involved in all of these creative aspects of life you want to be actually go out there and perform you have this desire inside and so sun here and also it makes a person very bold when it comes to education you know they want to be the center of attention when they in their academic field they want they want to feel like hey this is where my ego lies learning and expressing myself that's where the because sun is the ego so sun uh, so the is if you have the sun here then you feel like you know i want to express myself express my knowledge express my business ability express my creativity you know i want to have children that, that your ego also comes through children that hey my children are going to be up high in this in in the status so they work towards making their children you know leaders out there in the community and that's where they get their ego that hey yeah my children you know how indian parents are especially in us they're so fake i swear oh yeah my son went to the white house he's working under the president now oh my son went to yale my son went to harvard their ego you know gets a boost from talking about this even though their son is probably bringing coffee for some white house personality you know that's what they do they do these interns doing filing paperwork there and but they exaggerate this by saying oh yeah my son is at the white house my son is working for the parliament in india okay so this is how sun is represented in this house but remember this the sun is a hot planet so what it does it also dries up the fertility in this house the fertile eggs in a male or female so usually what happens is that these guys get children after quite a bit of struggle if there's no positive aspect on this house like if there's a jupiter aspect you know you'll get children no problem but with this house it makes it a struggle because sun is burning up is burning that out everything is becoming a desire so then your desire becomes to have children but the heat is burning it up but remember just because i said sun in the fifth house is damaging your kids don't think oh my god i'm not, i'm not going to have kids because i have sun in the fifth house this is what vedic astrology you know tells do not rely on one thing you're going to have to see the aspects you're going to see have to see the constellation sun is sitting in you're going to have to see the degrees sun is sitting in you have to see the conjunction that sun is in then you have to look at the divisional chart of the kids there's divisional charts of each house is surgically open and then you see oh there's something else happening in there 
So whatever is on the surface, you're going to have to dig deep where you have to look at the divisional charts, the 16 divisional charts that talk about all the aspects of your life. So don't just go on the birth chart. You know, what if your son is in a different house in your Narani Bhautalit chart? If you're new to this, don't worry about it. It's kind of technical language. But, you know, just wanted to say don't think that it's going to happen just because you have this. However, you know, the ego is definitely identified with creativity, with artistry, with, a, with expression. You want to express yourself out there. You want your, to be, you want to express yourself through your kids. And usually father, you know, people with the father, uh, son in this fifth house, father was usually a businessman. Father was either an artist or a businessman. Father can also be in the finance, like a stockbroker. Because, and you yourself can be a stockbroker because it's, it's a speculative business house. You know, everything is on betting. You bet here, you bet here, you bet there. So father could be also be a gambler. Okay, but father could be in this financial world where money goes up and down, up and down. So guys, this was my analysis on Sun the Fifth House. If you're new to my channel, subscribe above because I'll be covering all the planets through signs and houses and all the planets through ascendance. So if you want to know about certain alignments, stick around. And if you want to know more about true astrology, check out my link below. Check out my website there. Read all the articles. Watch the videos there too. And uh, uh, look at my book, Astrology at the Speed of Light, which will tell you the real astrological world that is out there that you may not be oblivion to. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Other, actually, I'll see you on Monday.